Now this shite. No, none of those. How fortuitous that you students should gather at the monastery like this. I know. They're all different. They're all, they're all so cool. We made a promise with the professor. That was five years ago to the very day. We all gave our promise to be meeting here when the Millennium Festival arrived. Though the one who came up with that plan is not here. Edelgard. Still, how incredible that those present gather despite the terrible state of things. Yeah, true, true. The most incredible part of it is that you didn't oversleep and miss the reunion. So, that is the reason. Professor, the monastery is safe because of your devoted students. I am now fully convinced that you are the only one who can save both of So, on the very day I return to Garrick Monk, you awaken and return as well. This is no mere coincidence, but rather the work of the goddess. Actually, well, it will be easier to just show you. Come with me. I realize that since you've been slumbering for so long, you have no idea what has transpired in the various territories. Allow me to explain. After the Battle of Garrick Monk, there was a change of regime kingdom. House Blathid suffered a series of brutal massacres, which claimed the lives of Dimitri and Regent Rufus. The kingdom capital fell and was absorbed into the empire as the Fargus Dukedom, which is now under Cornelius. Some still resist the empire. As of now, Rodrigue of House Fraldarius is at the center of such a... In the alliance, Claude leads the faction that opposes the empire, and Lawrence leads those who have sided with them. Front lines are ever in motion. War effort has stagnated over. In short, both the Kingdom and the Alliance have been swallowed up by the Empire and are on the verge of collapse. We must gather our generals and soldiers under your command and reverse this dire situation. Okay. Flame, look! The Professor has returned to us! Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> my surprise <laughs> this is literally my reaction to Flay hasn't like grown up to the point I don't know how old she is like all the other students like grown up like I don't know Petra um, Sylvain blah, 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 like people grown up appearance changes and all that and they look good apart from like Catherine um Flayne um um, what is it, uh, Gilbert, Alois, um, Steph, and all that. They haven't changed their parents one bit. I cannot believe you are still of this world. We were so worried we would never see you again. What are you doing here? I forgot something important at the Holy Mausoleum. I told my brother that I had to go back for it no matter what. And so here I am. After we finished here, we were going to continue our search for Rhea. But now that you are here, Things have changed. We must not waste this opportunity. We shall send word to the knights scattered all across the land. The time has come for the knights of Saros to return to action. We are counting on you, Professor. Okay. I can tell you I'm, I'm I won't do much, but hey, I'll I'll try I'll try. Mama City is pretty dark. Um, I 
Uh, okay, jump for the five, uh, five, five years. Oh, yeah, I need to remember that. Most of the... Oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Yes, you lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you. But I see Lady Rhea is with you. Damn. Okay, no thanks. Of you haven't changed power, like, even that kid, I forgot his name, Seal, 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 or something, I don't know what his name is, he's grown up, he's taller than Shamir. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. I wonder how, I don't know, Google Translate, like, by pronouncing his name, I'm sorry. You look Sire Sire? No, wait, hold on. Sire Sire? Wait. Sire? Okay. Zero. 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 Like. Shame here. Uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but a Sire. Sutter told us everything. From here on out, you will have our aid. I'm so grateful that everyone is safe. Hmm. Oh, this is good. So far, the weather here is so good. <laughs> I'm just completely got distracted myself. As I looked up, apparently, I believe for a while, I believe August was the warmest season of the year. But, but due to was it the the like warm weather like striking down and all that to the point that um. I'm like too sweaty enough not to go to work. I was no no. I was sweaty. I was tired and all that. So I had a day or two off from work, and so far, oh god. Yeah, so far the weather seems all right. I am sorry things are moving so rapidly. There is something we must discuss. Come with me. No, I looked up like July is the warmest season of the year, the warmest, and August is the second. And like, honestly, it's, like, it's only really that I prefer in spring break because to me spring break ain't that bad. Spring break, the weather is not that bad. Something I can tolerate. has come to make our true stand against the Empire. Okay, let's win no matter what, let's all work together. I don't feel confident, but we'll do our best. Oh, let's win. Come on. Our base will be here at Mon Monastery. The interior is in less than prime condition, but we should be able to utilize it much the same as we had before. Surely those Imperial Jerks have this place staked out, right? It's a highly strategic location. It may be an area of importance, but it is far removed front lines. Considering the burden of transport, it is possible they are not paying too much attention to it. Nothing escapes the Emperor. There must at least be a spy or two. Professor, what do you think? I think up to nothing, sweetheart. I see. Then it must be the right idea. The town and surrounding hamlets are still present. And though far from abundant, the church still has funds at its disposal. That's true. Professor, I think we can leave expanding our army to my brother. He was always good at negotiating, and I believe he is best suited to the task. Fair enough. I can't do to him. <laughs> I can't eat him. In that case, I have a request. Please allow my soldiers to join your ranks as well. Ah, uh, do whatever you want, man. Like, you won't be fine anyway. You're like level 9. I'm sorry about level 9, man. Sire already tried taking on the Emperor. As a result, our territory was stolen from us. As a consequence, I 
do not have many soldiers left to speak of. But those I have are yours to command. I feel like I should tell you that I've been protecting some kids who lost their parents in the war. They're in the town right now, but maybe we can move them to the monastery? I'm sure they'd be happy to chip in however they can. Yes, I understand. I will make the necessary arrangements. I nab some valuables from my house. Father is with the Emperor now, so it's not much, but it's yours. Lingard, Lingard, you sure? Fifty? No, not fifty. Five thousand ju a gold or jewel? Or oh, jewels is J. <laughs> but gold? Lingard, this is why you're the good one. <laughs> I don't have a thing to contribute. In fact, I'm still in my same old clothes. Really? Your parents has changed. Wandering on my own for five years. I won't go back to that house or my father, that's for sure. I understand. Leave it to me. No labor is too great if it means safety. Lingard. Oh my god, he just gives me gold. I, uh, I just realized some of the dialogue could they could be the same one as last time, so I can honestly skip them. Professor, something's been bothering me. What is it, man? Remember that suspicious guy I chased after oh, yeah. when I was a student? A knight scolded me for it, but at the time, I really thought I was doing the right thing, now that I've had more experience on the battlefield. I've been looking for you. There isn't much time, so all knights encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. I pray for their souls. Much appreciated, but there's a reason I need to bring this to your attention. Do you recall the incident five years ago involving a suspicious individual in Garrick Mark? These brigands all bore the same scorpion tattoo that we found on the arm of that man. Oh no. I thought that might be of interest to you. Okay. Don't mention it. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. <laughs> Heck of a coincidence, right? As soon as I mention that suspicious guy. It's good to hear they're finally been dealt with. <laughs> but some of the knights died in combat. Ain't that wall? Because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. Okay, it's just five years ago. Quiet and track the guy down like you said. We would have stopped those brigands sooner. I wouldn't have blood on my hands. Okay, you didn't like fight head on, be but he might harm the children. But he probably wouldn't have. Now those knights they're not coming back, we both know it. Can we just slap him just to shut up? Okay. Cool. Wanna talk to me? Was it Dorothea? Yes. This may seem a bit sudden, but I want to thank you. That is, for letting me live my life. I've noticed you've been giving me fewer of those soul revealing gazes lately. Like, I appreciate you making an effort to not trouble yourself over who I spent. Oh, uh, so you found me out? I didn't know what you mean. If you say so. But I notice you doing it all the same. It's kind of sweet. Professor. May I tell you a story about when I was younger? I was an orphan, living in the back alleys of Enbar. Until one day I was overheard, that was when my new life began. I was suddenly a songstress in the Middle Rock Opera Cup performer's nobility. I met so many people. But none of them ever really knew me. I was just some young, pretty girl who could sing. A spectacle to be admired. Even though everyone praised my looks and my voice and they showered me. I knew one day I'd be old. My looks would fade. My voice would change. I wouldn't sound the same. And I started to wonder, when I did get old, what would I have left? I'd be old. Alone. And back on the streets of the capital, right where I'd started. I don't believe that's true. Uh, I won't let you be alone. I won't let you. Again. 
That's why I keep searching for someone who will love me. Someone unaware of the songstress. Who can love a girl that used to be scared and alone on the streets of the capital. <laughs> I wonder if such a strange person can even exist. No, oh, you, you, you'll be surprised enough. You will be surprised enough. Okay. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Come on. There's nothing new? What? Okay. Let's port. Let's see, who wants to talk to me? I, I forgot who wants to talk to me. So, no, I'll, let, I'll pray first. I'll pray first. I'll pray first. Um... Go free and uh, not, why not? Here you go. Um, but snooped out here. Who wants me? I ruling out. We're basically. Professor. We talk to you. To help me achieve my goal, then I thought, Ah, oh, that's correct. Sorry, like, I've already been through talking with people. Like, I don't know who's like, who's. I find unpleasant. The number of things I avoid is forever increasing. I've never learned to deal with the pain of my past, so I can never increase my tolerance toward new pains. And? That's all. But there are some nights where it really worries me. <laughs> That's what you wanted to say? It'd be the same if you thank you, Lynn. For the first time? Each time I speak, I show my real self. So... What about which conversation? When you said I was a great woman, was that... Of course. You have too low an opinion of yourself. I thought you were just trying to make me feel... <laughs> I didn't really think you looked at me that way. Why? Is it so strange? You seemed rather happy. <laughs> it's not weird. <laughs> okay, it's kind of weird. <laughs> you know, I'm hungry all of a sudden. Good. I was going to invite you to dinner. You were? When I walked in, you asked if I'd come to invite you to dinner, but I can't be bothered to walk into town. Shall we visit the dungeon? What? Oh, fine. Show me this easygoing way of yours. Okay, cool. Oh, who else? Wait. I don't know. What brings you here? Am I bothering you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'll come back another time. Well, don't leave yet, you just got here. Was there something you wanted to talk about? Uh, yes. Do you remember that time in town? In town? Oh, you mean when all those thieves showed up? <laughs> that was rough. I heard a bunch of people got robbed. Some thieves tried to carry you off? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Just tell me which way they went. <laughs> I'm gonna... That's not what I mean. Oh, just forget it. Wait, don't go. What are you trying to ask me? Will you really listen this time? Of course. Sorry. Have my full attention. <sighs> Do you remember when you carried me to that spot with a really pretty view? Where is that place? Oh, right! 
Okay, first you go out of the monastery. Actually, it's kind of tricky to explain. So basically, you send burnt out to like miles, miles, and miles away from the like the monastery, miles away. Come on, I'll just take you there again, but pay attention this time. <laughs> Okay, oh, just carry her again. I think she could walk by herself. Okay, done with that. Then, what to go, what to go. You. I'm sad. Okay, um. Uh, turn this way. Okay. Okay, gather information. Lovely. Um. Okay. You don't have to be like sex in front of me. Um, if I where to go, where to go down here. And just having a mint. Hmm. Love them. Okay, if we <coughs> blacks, no, the blacks. Oh, oh yeah, except that one. I don't know, at least they uh help up one. I'm happy to eat alone, but oh. eating with friends is you know. Okay. Do you Then my own? What? Crazy? If I go up here then. Doing the class. I think it was one. Um, Catherine, 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 Catherine. Lady Rhea's absent. Know that wherever you might lead us, good. Do I get? Nope. Um, she means you'll, um, you the, what, be like says do swords, um, what should I do now? Lost the a magic a magic to my one. This sucks. Um okay. Ah. Uh, oh and uh, who actually does have crests? Let me go to me. Go down 
I got a crest, he has a crest, and uh, Casper doesn't. Huh, that's surprising for me. Bernadette, Aria, and uh, no. Wait, she doesn't have a crest? Okay. He does, you does, you don't, you do, she has a special one, you do, she doesn't, or he. Uh, oh, Catherine has, Shmira, and yeah. Okay, just just sparked my interest just a tad. How about if I speed up time a bit? I think, uh, okay. Tournament with swords. Okay, that is perfect. With who no. Um, Felix will do it then. Recommend 29 and uh, level 29 or higher. Chain sword, sword, silver sword plus. Okay, can't need that. <laughs> Please. No. Fine. Um, Felix. That's why I made my way here. Professor Lex, let's find me your words. Hmm. I know. Professor, it's not, it's also, of course, so do your. Probably just doesn't want to waste the day. If I just, I know, cooking, I guess. If only, I guess you and. Wait, hold on, if I do you and you. Oh, wait. Why not, Manuela? Why not? My cooking is so good, it's been called seductive. Should I show you what I can do, Professor? No, that's not. Right. I do so enjoy cutting up vegetables in preparation to cook. So I'll do that and leave you with the cleanup. What? Okay, done with this shite. Okay, I'm out of here. Wait. Do I really need to do something? Wait, have I... Check the plants. If... I you see? <laughs> you see this? I'm about to do a stupid move. There you go. Now, I'm ready. Conversation with who? Who wants to talk to me? So, oh, so, so they Fine, you need that. Let's get this over. Everywhere. Alright. I, I guess Sylvain must still have it. Huh? When did this book get here? Wait, this is mine. And there's something 
sticking out of it. A note? Oh. Dear author, I read your manuscript quite by accident and duly apologize. However, I also write today to inform you that I enjoyed your story tremendously. I laughed and cried as the heroine overcame her many obstacles, growing stronger with each step. Her literary style presents a unique perspective. I can sense you watching over the protagonist. <laughs> wow, so many compliments, and so much attention to detail. The girl's failures are as compelling as her triumphs. Since authors are told to write what they know, I believe your tale would not have been so convincing were it not for your own experiences. Um, what? My own experiences? That's a weird way to give praise. Who wrote this anyway? Who would read my story so carefully and then write this long letter to tell me about it? Whoever it is, they must be wonderful. Someone like my dear old uncle. I do hope my letter inspires you to keep right looking forward to the next chapter. Your devoted fan, Sylvain. Aww. What? Sylvain? Hey, you Bernadetta. Did you read my letter? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I fell head over heels for your story. It's so good, and I just had to tell you about it. So, what do you say? Will you write more? Why don't we talk literature? Oh, I see your plan now. You're out to humiliate me. Very clever, but I'm not falling for it. Okay. Oh, hold on. And you and you. Uh, to meet. Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Fine. Yeah. Let's get this all with now. Uh, why not you? Because I don't get you all the way. Uh, not. What about you, man? You almost an ass. I think. No, just an ass is the maximum. Yeah, ass, ass is just the max. 